We're meeting here in Dallas today at Southwest headquarters. Uh, we're giving an update on the status of the Southwest negotiations. So you know Southwest is up there. We're there. We represent the customer service agents and uh, uh, reservation agents. The folks who, who buy your ticket, get you on the airplane, move your luggage, all before you even get in your seat. Look, it's about our members. Everything that is driving what we're doing is about the members. We brought in about 100 representatives, all from different locations across the system, uh, and we were able to give them information on their new agreement, uh, ask to answer their questions, talk to them about the highlights. I want to just prepare you that, you know, you don't always get everything you want, uh, and you're going to get a breakdown of all of it. But I can tell you this, you got money up front. You got a lot bigger pay increases. Oh, yeah. We did a lot to fix the mandatory overtime. Our reps are working hard. There's a lot happening in our industry, a lot of change. We're very involved in all that. It's exciting. I think our members are going to be pleased when they see the whole package. It puts them where they belong, at the top of the industry. They're going to get a significant uh, bonus on ratification. Um, they're going to get... Uh, you know, over 15% increases in pay um, uh, over a three-year period. So there's also incentives for sick leave. There's, there's increases to forced, man, forced mandatory overtime. There's rest period um, uh, pieces of it. There's just there's so much that went into this contract. It makes me feel proud to be, one, a member of this union, two, to be an employee of Southwest Airlines, and three, to be on the leadership team that help to guide this contract along. Uh, they're being recognized for their hard work and for their commitments and their sacrifices that they've gone through for the last few years and certainly through the COVID situation. Um, you know, they were the front line and they should be recognized and I'm glad that we can fight on their behalf and make sure that we brought that home for them. I'm liking what I'm seeing on the contract. I'd like to do a little bit more research and, and really, really read into it, but I would go for a yes vote knowing what I know right now, yes. I would definitely recommend it. It's a lot better um, than the first contract that was offered to us. Um, we have some uh, different verbiage in the contract that's favorable. It's a good offer. Uh, the language is clear. The expectations have always been there. And as was mentioned, Southwest is, is a business and they're in the business to make money. But we have to make a living. I think the information that um has been presented to us about the tentative agreement actually is a good agreement. I will be reading it uh, more in depth. I think it came a long way from the vote down contract, the last tentative. Very excited about what they did go back and fight for is what we were asking for. And I'm very excited and hopefully it will be a yes. I would recommend the contract only because we haven't gotten a raise in with the last three years. Um, I feel like it's, it's a step up to where we need to be at. We'll hit all of our locations so that the membership has a very good understanding of all the benefits that we've been negotiated for them in this contract. Uh, I think information is the key and uh, they need to know just what's been the work that's been done for them. Uh, and we'll, then shortly thereafter we'll have a ratification vote and uh, the members will have an opportunity to express just how they feel about it.